Let's learn in this video how to trigger a pipeline from another pipeline in Azure DevOps. But why we might need this use case? Here is an example. You want to deploy your application to the production environment. So you have that defined into a pipeline and then you would have a second pipeline that will go to run integration tests, for example. So after that first pipeline runs and the application was deployed, you want to trigger the second pipeline. So in this video, we'll learn how to do that using two options. First option is using the resources feature available in Azure DevOps YAML pipelines that will help us to trigger a second pipeline after the first one completes successfully. The second solution here would be to use YAML templates, where here we can include the template of the second pipeline as a step or as a job or a stage into the template of the main first YAML pipeline. Let's see how that works. For the demo that I've presented here, it's almost all uh, documented in this GitHub repository. So you can take a look here at the two approaches and see the YAML file that I'll be using in this uh, demo. So you can uh, copy it from, from here. Moving now to Azure DevOps, where I, where I will present the solution. Here I have two files for the first solution and two files for the second solution. Let's start first with the first solution, where here I have a sample YAML uh, pipeline that is basically contains just one step that will echo this pipeline runs first. And then I have a second pipeline that is called Azure Pipelines Trigger.yaml. So into this pipeline, uh, I want actually before running the second pipeline, I want to run the first pipeline. So here I have added a section for resources and in resources, I've defined it pipelines. So prior to running this pipeline, I want the first or the main pipeline to run first. And for that, I have added dependencies to that pipeline. So here I have these uh, syntax. So first I create a name for this uh, pipeline. So, so that could be anything you choose. And then the source, which would be the name of the pipeline that you want to run first. And in my case here, it's first pipeline dash YAML. And just pay attention here. This is not the name of the YAML file. This is the name of the pipeline itself defined in Azure DevOps. Let me show you how that. So uh, it's here called it first dash pipeline dash YAML. If I take a look here at my pipelines in Azure DevOps right here, I would see that I have three pipelines. And this is the one that I wanted to run first. So you take the name of your pipeline from this page here where you have pipelines. And because in Azure DevOps, you can define pipelines in other projects or from other Git repositories. So we have that option right here to specify which uh, project and you can also enable or disable this trigger at any time. So here the syntax suggests that it's not at the end of the first pipeline that I will trigger the second pipeline, but it's up to the second pipeline to say, hey, I want to be triggered only after the first pipeline completes. So the, um, the syntax here, we put it into the second pipeline, not the first one. A second uh, note here, note how I'm setting the trigger here to none. This is in order to not trigger this pipeline each time I have a pull request or a commit. So I'm, I want to trigger it here only after the first pipeline uh, completes successfully. So let's give it a try. I'll go to my pipelines and I'll go to run the first pipeline. So I can go here, click run pipeline, click run. And we see here that the first pipeline was uh, queued because I've triggered it. Once it finishes, now the second pipeline will be triggered. So in a, in a few seconds, we'll see that pipeline started running. And yeah, here it is. Now it's queued and it did run successfully right here. So that was the first solution. Let's now move to the second solution, which will trigger a pipeline from another pipeline using the YAML templates. So here I have as the main template, my first pipeline, I've called it. And here into the steps, I have a first step that will just echo a message. But in the second step here, I'm inserting a template, a YAML template. And here I have a name for that template or the path for that uh, uh, template, which is Azure Pipelines template YAML, which is a file that I have right here. If I open this file here, I just have 
one step that will run this script. Of course, this could be within the template. You can define jobs, stages, whatever you want. So the main idea here is that uh, I can export the, these steps or jobs or stages within a template and then I can call that template from this pipeline or from any other uh, pipeline. So let's demo this quickly where we should see here two steps running in the pipeline. So I'll go to my pipeline and run this third one pipeline with template. Go to the queued job. And yeah, here we see the first command line that will just echo a message. This pipeline runs first and then the second command line that was triggered because it was uh, included into the uh, YAML template. Great, this was it. How to trigger pipelines from another pipelines using the two solutions in Azure DevOps pipelines. Uh, again, the source code is on this GitHub repo where I have also included a few links for the documentation for the resources and also for the YAML templates. Thank you.